Let's talk to Ronnie Chopra. He's the Chief Market Strategist at Knightsbridge Trading Academy. Very good morning to you, Ronnie. Good morning. Right, um, the art of contrary thinking. I think that's what it's all about this morning, for the, looking at the slides. Um, let's kick off with the first one, the Barclays Bank PLC. Lots of headlines. Um, well, they had a great set of results recently. I'm surprised that the shares haven't picked up more, especially with the FTSE up, what, 10 11% in the last few weeks. Barclays is one of the behemoths of, of the UK banking industry. Yep. We had great news out yesterday with regards to the, uh, uh, the Qatari SFO uh, investigation that cleared Barclays. But there was a rather lacklustre performance, you know, rising only about 1% yesterday on that kind of news. A bit of pathetic, really. Um, if it was an American bank, the shares would have surged at least 4 or 5%. Right. Uh, but anyway, I think there's a lot going for Barclays at the moment. Uh, the pound is very weak. They get a lot of their earnings in U.S. dollars. That's not recognized by the markets at the moment. Uh, they're giving a dividend yield of around 4 or 5%, price earnings ratio of 8. Massive global company, recognized by many. And it's not a U.K.-centric company. And uh, I think it, the, it will take a little bit of time for the market to realize it, but these could easily be 20 30% higher by the end of the year. Okay, so we like those in our portfolio. Definitely. Let's move on to the next slide, ITV. Yeah. Rallied recently. That again, a great set of results, much better than expected. The, sh the shares were down something like 50% from yeah. the recent highs. Um, on the day of results and during that week, as we can see in the chart, they were up about 15% or so. Um, but I still think they've got further to go. Again, price earnings ratio under 10. We have Liberty Media touted as a possible predator. Um, they're awash with cash because of their uh, sale of interest to Vodafone. And uh, even if these aren't taken over, again, another 10, 15% on top of these within the next couple of months. Okay, so we like those. And let's wrap up with the last one, Marks and Spencer's headline maybe falling into the FTSE 250. That's right, but a lot of that news has been factored in and the shares have picked up somewhat from below 260 to currently around the three pounds mark. And uh, with the shares around the three pounds mark, there's still a lot of potential. Mm -hmm. um, they're gonna cut stores, there's probably gonna be an announcement tomorrow with their uh, results due. And also we've got someone who's very well respected in the city, Archie Norman, who's the chairman. And um, he obviously doesn't need the money and it's his reputation on the line. And I'm sure he's gonna ensure that Marks and Spencer's recovers strongly. Right. Okay, so the numbers are ahead. So you've picked three stocks, okay, in yeah. terms of, you know, well-known names. Exactly. Um, all the market at record highs, are these under, underperformed? Or well, basically? I think these will start to recover strongly and outperform the market. Um, the, the FTSE's up, what, 10 11%. It was below 7,000 not that long ago, four or five weeks ago. Yeah. So we've had a tremendous rally. Um, and these companies have recovered a little bit, but... From a few years ago, these are still so cheap. I mean, the likes of Marks and Spencers back in 2007 was at seven pounds a share. Barclays was at eight, nine pounds a share, 2003, 2004, when Bank of America were touted as a possible uh, predator. And um, ITV, likewise, these are trading at three or four pounds. All these companies are on price earnings ratios of around 10. If these were an American company, I reiterate the point about how high the Dow Jones is in comparison to our FTSE 100, at, you know, even if it's at a record high at 7,800, um, we are still so unloved from a global perspective. It just doesn't make sense. On that note, Ronnie, thank you very much indeed.